We are just a little over 20 hours away from an out of this world phenomenon in Minnesota. As Lisa just mentioned, cloud cover and rain will likely scuttle our viewing plans, but we'll have a partial eclipse with 75% of the moon covering the sun that will peak at 2 PM. But this fun event comes with a warning tonight as there are a lot of risks that come with looking up at the sun. WCCO's Mariel Mose spoke with an expert. A good friend of mine went to the last eclipse in 2017 and was just so blown away by the experience. Uh, he was like, we have to go. Chris Meyer traveled from Minneapolis to meet a group of friends in a city just north of Austin, Texas, so they could be in the path of totality. A trip a year in the making for them that they know comes with risk. Kind of compared it to planning a wedding ahead of time. You know, it's like if you're going to have it outside, like that's a gamble. It's a 50 50 chance. Right now, forecast models show dense cloud coverage in central Texas. A little nervous about that, but you know, they said it was going to be cloudy today, but the sun is, you know, peeking through the clouds. Like you can see the sun. So kind of hoping maybe for the same tomorrow. Don't let cloud coverage fool you. It's still dangerous to stare directly into the sun, even during an eclipse, which is why these viewing glasses are going to be key. And there's a simple trick to determine if they're truly safe enough for you to stare into the sun. And when you look through it, um, you actually can't see anything unless it's the sun. Um, and so that's a that's a good telltale sign that you're using the proper glasses. This event happens fast. It's easy to get sun exposure on the front end and back end of the eclipse. Dr. Gunit Sodi warns of the permanent damage the sun can cause to your eyes. So you don't see the damage right away uh, when you actually are visualizing into the world, um, but it actually appears a few days later. Um, a few hours to a few uh, few days later. He also suggests viewing the eclipse safely through your phone. You could almost take a selfie. Uh, that's a good way of going about it. Marielle Mose, WCCO News. With our weather ruining the eclipse viewing from your backyard, make sure you check out our eclipse coverage on WCCO.com tomorrow for views and information from across the country.